Warrior as he makes right. his way onto the ring from Phuket, top team, Rodrigo Braceres. Ah, uh, here we go, Rodrigo Braceres, match number six in the middleweight division, going up against Freud and Serena. Now, Rodrigo Braceres, as we were talking about earlier, is a BJJ black belt. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. You know, like I said, there's BJJ black belt and then there's high level BJJ black belt. This guy is definitely a high level BJJ black belt coming out of Novo Nyao. You can see the name Hobson Mora on his uh, on the patch on his shorts. Hobson Mora is a legend in the sport of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The only question is, will he be able to translate his sport Jiu Jitsu style into MMA? That's he's great. not he's not a very experienced mixed martial artist. He's a good black belt, but is he a good mixed martial arts Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt? We will see. Totally agree. He has a world MMA record of one win and one loss. So, like I said, you know, I mean, anything could happen in MMA. Right, right. And I hope, I hope that, you know, for his sake, he, he did his homework, I you know, so. in, in, in MMA, yeah. you know. He looks in great shape. Um, I agree. And now, please welcome his opponent Out of Phuket, from a lot of tough guys there. Submission Sports Philippines. Here is Froyland Saranas. Froyland Saranas, a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. A uh, very big discrepancy in the levels of grappling between these two guys. But do not get Froyland raw. Uh, what, what, this might be one of those few fights that Royland is in the has advantage in the striking area. Yeah. Usually he comes in as the better grappler. Here he's coming in as perhaps the better striker. Uh, Froyland has been working on his Muay Thai for a long time, been joining a lot of Muay Thai tournaments. And you know, don't don't let Froy, Fro, Froyland's appearance fool you. He may look like a very stoic, timid guy, but man is this dude strong. I've grappled with him here in tournament. Amazing strength, very good control, very technical guy. But obviously, I think he wants to keep it standing up. Yes, Mark. for sure. At, I mean, he he want to he want to do that if he want he wants to win against Mercedes. Right. I mean, obviously, Mercedes has is more experience on the ground. Definitely. Um, Froyland, I think Froyland has an advantage over him when yeah. it comes to experience in the ring. In the ring. He has a three win and one loss record. He's Ladies and gentlemen, this and match is for the URCC middleweight title. As we formally introduce our fighters, starting off with the fighter in the blue corner, weighing in at 175 pounds, with a URCC record of a one win and one loss, from Phuket top team, welcome, Rodrigo. Prasades. Rodrigo Prasades, um, like I said, Novo Nyao. Novo Nyao is known to be yeah, one of the best the teams in, in the red corner. Wing in at 175 pounds with a three win, one loss URCC record from Submission Sports Philippines. This is Froyland Sardas. Ryland Sarandis, like I said, you know, he's trained with several guys, not just with, from Submission Sports. Yeah. He's also actually trained with um, Wally Larson from Tiger MMA. Very experienced guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure Froyland will be able to kind of hold his own, perhaps maybe on the ground. But like I said, high level, high level jiu-jitsu here by Rodrigo Prasadis. None other than Christian Wong. Third man in the ring, Christian Wong. The Wong Man. The Wong Man. Oh, Christian! Oh, Christian! is taller by one. Yeah, one inch. Yeah, one inch, sorry. 5'11". 5'11". Froyland stands at 5'10". Oh, Christian! 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 Oh, he looks good, a good. lot okay. bigger than than Sarenas. Yeah, don't get me wrong though. He's from, just a one. Yeah. Is that a, just a one inch? It doesn't uh, look like a one inch. He looks much taller. Yeah. You know the thing yeah. about this is he also shoots up for top team. Those guys 
constantly work on their striking skills. You know? Exactly. I'm, I'm sure they've had, you know, they have the best training in Muay Thai. Yeah. So we cannot discount Mercedes' uh, striking yeah. skills as well. He looks a bit stiff with the kicks, but uh, perhaps it's early in the round. We'll see. Uh, like I said, uh, Novonia, one of the high-level teams coming out of Brazil. They've produced champions such as BJ Penn. And BJ Penn won the BJJ uh, World Mundials in uh, 2000. He got his black belt Novo Nhao. He wow. trained in Novo Nhao. Jose Aldo, uh, UFC featherweight champ, Novo Nhao uh, guy as well. So very high level camp. Freilan doing a great job closing in the distance here. This is where Freilan wants to work. Yeah, a while ago he had the um, um, double underhooks on on Presedes and that's yeah, that's what you wanna you wanna right. you wanna put your weight down at someone like Presedes, yeah. you know. Yeah, you're right, Bubs. He's much taller. Much, much taller. taller. That's not an inch. Probably a good three or four inches. And maybe he could do his, you know, strike, you know, um, put, uh, bring in some um, hit um, Presedes on the, on the thighs, on the thigh, you know. yeah. Some, and then uh, some body blows would right. help. Some um, slapping knee thighs there. Yes. Uh, on knee strikes there. The thing about, um, the thing about being in this position, if you get kneed in the thighs, there's a nerve in your thigh. When you hit that yes. nerve, it stiffens Is up. Is that the sciatic nerve? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, no, it's I not. Mean, in layman's terms, we call it the Charlie horse. <laughs> you know, the if Charlie horse. If somebody uh, gives you Charlie horse, they'll usually punch you in the thigh, and your whole leg will get stiff. That's, that's true. That's what it is, and that's the worst thing. That's why I hate being kicked. I'd rather be punched in the face than get kicked in the thigh. It's it true. hurts so bad. And also, the body blows does a lot for your kicks. You it know, does. like if you get hit in the body, eventually. Your legs will get really tired. You yeah. they'll, they'll feel heavier, right. and you'll you'll have a hard time throwing right, those kicks right. as well. Um, another thing is it takes a lot from your cardio. You know, it messes up the rhythm of your breathing. And nice kick by Serena. Very nice, very nice. Kind of a stalemate here. Both guys don't want to give too much. This is uh, you know it shows that this this could be a technical fight. I, you know, I they think don't want to be a technical. Fight. They don't want to make a mistake. Yeah, because you know what, guys, this high level, all it all it takes is a, yeah. a split second of messing up. Now, one little mistake can change the whole the, the whole game. That's true, and you know, Boyce Gracie always says your your belt only covers one third of your yeah, what's that? yeah. one what, like one third of your belt. Oh, yeah. big takedown! This is a bad spot for Froyland. But you know, Freilan, although you know it says he's a purple purple belt, you know he's been a purple belt for quite some time since now. 08. And, since 08. And um, you know they only get promoted by their Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructors, and yeah. their instructor hasn't been here for quite some right. time. You he know, could so actually could be a, pr a, br a brown, brown belt, belt already. just like a, 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 a under under promoted guy. Yeah, it happens. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, those uh, VPF guys are waiting for Ramon Lemos, the coach, yes. to come over for them to get promoted. Um, a lot of them are actually on their way up to brown. Right, right, black. Yeah, a few. So oh, let's not discount um, Sadanis' um, brown skills. So is going doing a good job here. Uh, I'd like to see him kick off. Honestly, kick off, get up, and maybe strike with Brasedes. But Brasedes seems heavier. Yeah, I, I don't want to be... People don't know what it's like being underneath a black belt. Uh, I train with Alvin all the time. And Alvin only weighs like, what, 170, 170? Not a even. little heavier, maybe 160. not even. 160. 165. He feels like he's like 400 pounds on top of you, man. The the pressure that these black belts are are, ab are able to generate feels like I got a bus Agreed. line on top of me. I like hate Like what it. they do the anaconda, you know, every right. time you inhale, that's when they, they put tire. pressure. That's it, it exactly. gets tighter. And it just sucks the <laughs> life out of you. Um, Freiland recovering guard here. Let's see uh, if he'll play an active guard. You never know. Like I said, MMA, you never know. Freiland's more experienced. Uh, this is uh, Prasad. This is first time in the URCC. Am I right? Yes. Uh, that could that could come into play. This is uh, practically Freiland's home. You know, Freiland's been fighting for the URCC for a very long time. Yes. The URCC ring is something he's not. He, 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 he's very used to being in, so. His coach yeah. is screaming, Rodrigo, relax. I, think I, I believe that's Andrew Leon. He's also one of uh, our up, uh, one of um, Asia's up and coming fighters. I right. mean, he's, 
he's um, Caucasian. He's I think from the U.S. but right. trains out of Phuket, Thailand. Yeah, a lot of actually a lot of people. Thailand has become a melting pot for fighting. A That's lot true. of Europeans, a lot of guys from the West decide to go to Thailand. Yeah. Because it's, it's training's good. It's cheaper, but it's also very, very good. Agree. It's High level more They don't get a lot of fights in because uh, I heard though that the the um, I don't know if it's the um, the king there. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't really. He's not such a big fan of MMA, right, and he'd like yeah. to preserve Muay Thai. Muay Thai, right, right. So yes, yes. I don't know if MMA is getting a lot of love from from the government and from the. But you know, there the are a lot of there. great camps. There are a lot of exactly. Jiu Jitsu camps in Thailand. So, you know, I mean, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. I've actually been. I've been on uh, Facebook and I noticed that um, Boakau, one of Thailand's uh, top Muay Thai fighters, is actually he's transitioning into MMA. So wow. maybe MMA, that hopefully it'll help uh, uh, accelerate the the, the 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 scene in Thailand. Exactly. The MMA scene. I big oh, kicks. Big my kick. said this. Very very big guy. Big long legs. Yeah, you see, Generate Froyland doesn't really wanna. You know, um, rush it and stand up. Because if he, he stands up the wrong way, he could eat. A, he could eat a huge head kick. Uh, what he wants to do now is kind of wait till. Oh, good oh, axe, axe kick. kick! Wow. Oh, Froilan thought about maybe uh, going for a leg lock there, tying up his legs. All right, Prasadas lets him stand up. His corner is on. Yes, that's good. That's okay. It seems that Rodrigo's um very confident in his Muay Thai as well as boxing and his striking. Rodrigo feeling Froilan out here. I'm surprised, you know, he didn't show, you know, he didn't dominate so that yeah, completely yeah, yeah, on yeah. the ground. I you know, I was, I was expecting him to, to at least go for the submission. Right. That's the thing with these grapplers, you know, a lot of them, you know, they want to prove that they can also slug it out. So right, they're going to yeah. take ego, their time. There's a bit of that ego. Exactly. But nope, no, he's going for, he's fighting for that. Oh, oh Froilan gives his back. This is such oh, a bad position. Bad position. <laughs> you know, normally it wouldn't be that bad, but having Novo and Yo Black Belt on top of you, this is as bad as, almost as bad as it can get. Probably next to being mounted. I totally agree. Oh. Not such a good position for Sadanas right here. Yeah, yeah. Froilan needs to find a way to face uh, Prasadis again. I, he needs to, to turn into him. Because the moment that uh, Froilan decides to turn away, uh, Prasadis' right leg will try and come in for one hook. He's going to slip that in and get half back, what we call half back. Yes. Which is uh, basically ha controlling the back with one hook in. So wow. it's, it's the same as uh, uh, getting the back. Only difference is you just have one hook. It's yes. just as good though. See, there you go. He's trying to get his hook there. Froilan doing a good job though of uh, defending his back. He's going to try and stand up. Uh, oh, there's that hook. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I think um, Prasadis uh, probably would want to finish right. it. Froilan trying to come on top. Froilan, very good. Guard wow. recovery by Froilan. I'm impressed. Like I said, you know, Froilan's no slouch. This guy's been a purple belt since 08. Practically, some might even consider him, you know, uh, a brown belt already. So, yeah. You know, very, um, every, the thing about brown belts is you're practically a black belt. There's just little things yeah. that you have to fix. Maybe a year of wrestling or uh, just little things. You're practically oh, a black up belt. Oh, up kick by Serenis. And he did get some, some elbows in. He on, did, he did. On Prasadis' head there. Prasadis is breathing heavy. He's breathing very heavy, but I was actually, I was, tired. I was talking to Alvin. Um, there was almost a chance that this main event might not have happened. But thank you for, thankfully, URCC being the professionals that we are. We found a way to get them over I here. I know. I heard he missed his flight. Him they and uh, Brad Terry missed their flight. They missed their flight. And they had to, you know, right. they had to book another flight right. for Des them. And Despite that, you know, URCC always trying to give give a great show to the fans. To give them what they deserve. So. It was very nerve-wracking. I, I was the one who was coordinating I'm sure, with them I'm the whole sure, time. I'm sure it was you. It, I'm sure it was you that was stressing yeah. out, Bob. So props they, to they you. Props in, to you. They flew in Clark. Ah, I heard that you had like, to drive so them out from uh, Clark Pampanga. Yeah, so they flew in from 
Phuket, they flew to Clark via Kuala Lumpur. Right, right. So it was very crucial for us. There was only one flight left after oh, their supposed God. flight. Thank God. Yeah. And I'm just glad they made it. I'm just glad they made it. I'm very happy. We would have missed two, two very, very promising exactly. uh, main events. We would have had to face very upset by right, fans. Right, right, right. <laughs> Good takedown there, as you can see by Prasedes. Um, so far, I give it to Prasedes. First round of Prasedes, he yes. controlled it. He was on top most of the time. Uh, he might even have landed the better strikes. So, thing about it is, Froiland doesn't look that tired. Prasedes is breathing looks heavy. Pretty br beat. Uh, it might have been the stress of that flight. It might be that you know he's not used to. Like I said, URCC is a completely different environment. This is yeah. considered to. Con con Compared to what he's fought in before, this promotion is big time. This is big leagues, you know, and I'm sure that he's that that that'll come into play. I couldn't agree with you more. Troyland, very comfortable, like I said. URCC being, you know, aside from uh, competing in Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai, URCC is practically uh, his home. You know, this is it's been uh, the promotion that he's fought in for a very like, long time. Yeah, and like I said, he's had more fights than Presedes. Right. He's more very used to. He's more used to the pressure. He's more used to this environment. And right, right. You know, let's hope this, you know, that, that turn, you know, he, he gets to turn it to his advantage. Both both guys are actually, you know. Jackie Forster, welcome back. Fun. Hello. My good friend, Jackie Forster, an actress. One of the um, How we go. actresses here. Second round. Here we go. First round in the books. I'm actually surprised that, um, you know, Bracetas wasn't able to dominate on the ground, like you said, Bubbles. Like, well, a, a, a cr credit to Freulan. He's no slouch on the ground. Very, very good jiu-jitsu, high-level jiu-jitsu this guy has. Agree. All right, here we, here go, we go, second, second round. round. Match number six in the middleweight division. What do, what's that tattoo that Froilan has in his arm? Is that a Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa, Lisa apparently. That's interesting. I'd like to know the story behind that. <laughs> and he has another one on his arm. Uh, maybe we will other, give him other some other more tattoos arm. from our sponsor, PFP Tattoo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever what you just did there, Bubs. Right there. Good kick. Uh, not, not exactly landing there. Like I said, Froilan's very, very, uh, very good Muay Thai. What he's doing now, he's kind of reaching forward. He's measuring. Oh, nice. Very oh. Good. Oh, oh, we, we got, got a little, little bit of sweat on us here. <laughs> a little bit of sweat on us. I felt that. Thank oh, God my mouth go. wasn't open. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh trip. Very good kicks, my friend. Nice he's, kick. Nice he's kick. He's doing the right nice thing. He's reaching out. Why he's the reason why he's reaching out? He's kind of measuring whether or not that kick is gonna that kick is going to land or not. He sealed it pretty well, you know. He he kicked him with his with his shit. That was his shit. You hear the thud. It's very slip, very different. If it's the instep, you'll hear you you'll, yes. you'll hear a clap. And we felt the sweat. If it's uh, the shin that connects, it's a very kind of a baseball yeah, bat thud. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, nice oh, yeah. kick again. Prasadis though connected there for a little bit. Oh, very awkward kick there. Uh, like I said, Prasadis, he, he's probably, you know, he's working, still working out those kinks in the Muay Thai. Don't get me wrong, those guy looks very powerful. Good punches, yeah. good knee. Very good, just when I said that, he throws that yeah. beautiful knee. Showing me up. Froland okay. kicking back. Froland needs to add some punches with those kicks. P perhaps after the kick, exactly. you just add a few some combos punches. With yeah. Yeah. Or maybe uh, one, two, three before the kick. Maybe even after, you know. You have to keep your, your opponent guessing. It's good, though, that he's doing those side steps. Right, you're not right. just standing not right just in front of Prasadis. Um, he's working those angles. Prasadis looks pretty tired. I think Very Serenas will do a lot better standing up. I think, I think rather so than, as well. You know, on yeah, the ground. So um, the fights, the fights looking much better. He, on the ground, he's gotten out of position. Almost yes. gave his back. Actually, he did for a moment give his back. Thankfully, he was able to escape. Let's 
Royal and measuring Pratsetis here. Both guys seem, there we go, both guys seem very hesitant to kind of commit. I think, um, you know, both, b b oh, oh, big nice straight. Hit. Wow. His corner saying rough. that he's rocked. His corner telling Rodrigo to pounce on him. I think the reason why they're kind of uh, apprehensive to to slug it out is because both guys are grapplers. Exactly. The first they don't is grappling. This is. They this don't want to make that mistake. Right, right. Both guys are trying to play it safe, you know, understandably. But again, props to these guys. Good, good, good hook there. Very good left hand by. Uh, Froyland there, landing clean on the jaw. Show him what you got now! Let's go, be aggressive! Rodrigo's corner asking him to be aggressive. And sometimes and his that's... Kicks are, his kicks are pretty slow, you know, you can basically slow, see yeah. them from a mile away. And right. Sardanas just sees it and just steps right back and right. saves himself from punishment. And you know, Bob, so you're very right about uh, what you were saying a while ago, which is that sometimes aggressiveness wins the fight. So exactly. When, when it's dead even, sometimes it boils down to who wants it more. Exactly. Who's willing to go the extra mile more? Who's willing to sweat more? Who's willing to get a little bit more tired than the other guy to get the win? Rodrigo's corner time, hands oh. up, oh, spinning back fist, barely, barely missing that spinning back barely, fist, barely, barely, you know, it, the thing about that spinning back fist is, it doesn't land a lot, but when it lands, oh yeah, it lands, now, it lands we've, heavy. we've had a few uh, spinning back fist knockouts Red in the UFC, right, Red, Red Romero, Romero. oh, um, uh, who that, uh, uh, the, the guy who fought Ali Khatibi, yes. grappler, Ah. I'm the Beniba. No, 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 no. Oh, man, I'm stumped. But that was a hell of a yes. spinning back. Uh, I think he caught Gerson Estoro with it. Yes. And yes. it shocked everyone because Gerson, is, he was the fan favorite. It was a classic grappler versus striker. Carl. Carl Savignano. There we go. Yes. Guys, Pasenchen, I'm sorry. Bubs is seen, like she said. <laughs> Ten years, man. That's a lot of fives to call. You can't remember them all. If you can't I remember know, them all, right? Forgive me. Forgive me. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. We've seen a lot of good fights. <laughs> Referee resetting them back <laughs> here. You know, hoping Pasenchen, for more. Pasenchen, this looks pretty disoriented. Yeah, he looks tired. Um, he's doing a lot of things, uh, jumping up and down. I think if, if Froyland wants to win this, he has to push it. Right. Push the pace a little bit more. Froyland needs to be more confident. Exactly. Right? Oh, oh Froyland's getting caught. Yeah, he Rodrigo's has to get letting out. loose. There's a big welt underneath oh. right eye. There's and you want to hold up? Oh, he's wow. He's rocked. There's a huge he's hurt. welt underneath uh, Froyland's right eye. I think he needs to swarm now. If Rodrigo wants to finish this, he needs to jump into him. Swarm. I think he really needs to swarm. If I was... What's that? That's why he's in his corner. I'd be screaming at him. Just jump in there. Uh, oh, look what at that a well. big well. Did it, you see that a big mouse? On that is giant. Oh, oh my oh. God. If it continues on. Now, you know, this is this works in Rodrigo's favor. He sees that well. He sees that target. That's a new target. It you should know, be a new can, target. It's incredibly hard to, you know, it's hard to fight with two eyes. Imagine fighting with one. It's near impossible. Yeah, and... You know, Serenus wants to, would want to keep his hands up. And the thing is, I notice, you know, when he punches, he tends to close his eyes a bit. Yeah, yeah, he does, you know, he like does. He flinches a bit. It's a problem that a lot of strikers have. Edward Follian is known to have that problem in the past. Uh, oh, good exchange there. That mouse is huge. Good take down by Rodrigo. This went down. I would down target that right eye. I would definitely target that right eye. You know, very possible that we might have a doctor stoppage here. It's a bad swell. I don't, I don't know if he can even see through that right eye I don't anymore. Think he it's can. so, it's so, it's so big. It's like he's growing a brand new face underneath that eye. And you know, you gotta watch out for that. Sometimes you know that well could be a fractured, um, right, orbital, right. orbital, orbital bone. bone. Yeah, yeah. That's the eye socket. It's basically when you shatter That's your eye socket. That's what happened to. Um, Brandon Vera. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Basically, the, your eye just 
um, drops, yeah, and then the yeah. orbital bone is the one that protects your eye. And it's I, for me, it's one of the worst a lot decisions. Of it's one of the worst uh, injuries that you can get. Aside, uh, beside, of course, breaking your nose, they're shattering your cheekbone, shattering your orbital. It's bad. And oh, Oma Plata! Wow, Oma Plata! Oma Plata! Wow. Attempt by Froilan. High level jujitsu here. Wow! Wow. Froilan, Does he get this, it? Does this he would be a it? huge upset. He could. What he has to do now is kick both his legs forward. I want to see him stretch his legs out like he's sitting on loud oh, wow. legs out. You I know, saw. I saw Prasadas, You know, yeah. he said, "Nah, he the doesn't thing, have the it." The thing about the Oma Pladas is, especially this late and around this sweaty, is very hard to finish. Exactly. In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the gi, it's very easy because you have the sleeve to control him from pulling his arm out. Nothing stopping your opponent in MMA or no gi from pulling your arm out. It's true. It's easier to execute that, you know, using your opponent's oh, gi. Oh, right? big right. You're right, bro. It's much easier. Oh, big right, nice. big body oh. kick. My God, that eye is messed oh. up. I'm Next surprised. Week. I'm surprised. I really thought Freiland might do much better standing up, but it seems that uh, Rodriguez he's, he's owning in all, all aspects of the fight. That's the thing, you know. I mean, a little trivia for for the fight fans out there. Pesados is a professional fighter. He is. Yeah. This is what he does. <laughs> this is, you know, Serena's. He's a professional. Who happens to fight? Right, right. You know, he uh, fought. He, he 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 works at a call center. Right. He has, he has, um, he works odd hours, right, right, graveyard right. shift. Right. And you know, um, if if you want to excel in MMA, you can be a weekend warrior. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Zadana yeah. has taken time off of work, training for a fight like this. But it's you gotta huge. take more time off it's of huge. work to prepare for a fight like this, a high-level fight sure, like I'm this. Sure. Um, Rodrigo Pesedas, he's a black belt. To get your black belt means countless hours of not time, countless hours of training. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach, meaning when he's not training MMA, he's teaching Jiu-Jitsu. Which exactly. means his mind is constantly working at, at, at fighting. It's always That's thinking all about he fighting. Does. That's all he does. Very good two rounds. Uh, I think it's a clear... Clear, it's clear to everyone who won that fight, just yes. based on damage alone. You got his... Um, Rodrigo barely looks like he was even in a fight. Look at that mouse, Bubs. That mouse on the Froilan side. Yeah, he look at that. He can't, he can't see through that. There's no way. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Rodrigo celebrating with his cornerman there. That here we go. This we're gonna see what what what, what rocked Froilan. Boom! Boom! That's what That's not the one that brought him down, but those definitely landed and made a difference. Great kicks, chopping at Froilan's legs there. Amazing, amazing, gentlemen, amazing show. Up, there, up, that's the right that rocked Froiland. The, the right hook that rocked Froiland. As our judges have made their decision. Oh. Phuket top team, very sharp. Huh? Those guys are looking really good tonight. Um, CS um, corner, um, fighter Andrew Leo and Boyd Clark. Our judges have since made their decision, and it is. Unanimous in favor of the blue corner, Rodrigo Basenis uh, wins. Ha it's very obvious that uh, that fight was Rodrigo all the way since the beginning. As Alvin Aguilar now will put on Mr. Rodrigo Prasenis the URCC middleweight belt. You are the middleweight belt on uh, Rodrigo Pacedes. Yes. Uh,